little wet rat <laughs> with a 400, 300 mile ride to Phoenix today. Good morning from Boulder City, Nevada. If you missed my last video, then you have no clue what I'm doing in Nevada at the moment. I'm out here riding the brand new 2024 Harley Davidson Road Glide. And yesterday I went to Death Valley and I will link that video right up here for y'all so you can check that out. And the reason that I am in Boulder City and not hanging out in Death Valley still, as I mentioned, is because I'm trying to get out of this dreary, stormy, cold weather. You probably can't tell, but it's 40, 45 degrees out at the moment. It is super cold, it is raining. This is not the most fun way to go on a motorcycle trip. So I'm trying to get out of this and I'm headed to Phoenix, Arizona today. It's about a 350 mile ride from Vegas to Phoenix. And for some reason, I've never done this ride. <laughs> Even though I've been to both cities numerous times and used to live in Phoenix. So I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride and see what else we can find along the way. There are a few things that I do wanna see and stop at. Um, but the first thing was the world famous coffee cup here in Boulder City. I've heard a lot of good things about this place and my friends Brandy and Kristen also love this place. So when they heard that this is where I was gonna come today, they were like, hey, we're coming with you. And the food did not disappoint. Uh, the Tulane Life guys actually told me I should stop here and check it out when I saw them the other day. They were headed here and this place is incredible. Highly recommend checking it out. I got the California omelet and I added bacon to it and I did the dollar upcharge for the cinnamon, the French toast with cinnamon and powdered sugar. I don't know why that was so hard to say, <laughs> but it was really good. That was some of the best French toast I've had in a while. I'll definitely be back here at some point in the future, but for now, my hands are freezing. I want to get on the bike, get my gear plugged in and hit the road. So our next stop is going to be Lake Mead and the Hoover Dam because I've never seen it before. <laughs> I just pulled over at the very first overlook as you enter the Hoover Dam. There's probably 30 people here sightseeing. And from what I can hear, I'm the only person speaking English. And I always find that so fascinating hearing all these different dialects from all over the world because it's interesting to think like how the Hoover Dam is perceived to other people around the world. And I, I, I met some Russians, I uh, hear Spanish, I think I heard um, like an Asian dialect, like Chinese or Vietnamese. It's pretty cool. So there are free parking lots at the Hoover Dam, and I am cheap, and I do not like paying for parking, especially on a motorcycle. It's only $10, but I have feet that work. So I went ahead and parked just a little further ways up in the free parking lots. I'm sure on certain days it's impossible to get a spot here, but I looked out and I got the last one in the closest lot that's free. So now it's time to walk all the way over there to check out the dam. As the American West's population began to grow, so did the need for water and power, leading to the engineering marvel that we know today as the Hoover Dam. Built over five years, the dam was officially completed in 1935. Today, the dam controls the flow of the Colorado River, irrigating over one and a half million acres of land and providing water to 16 million people. Water flow is controlled by four towers, two on each side of the canyon, which in turn feed the power plant turbines, generating enough hydroelectric power to serve 1.3 million people in Nevada, California, and Arizona every year. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is the actual state line. I'm in Nevada. I'm in Arizona. <laughs> that would make sense for it to be, you know, right in the middle of the dam, because that's how the state line actually works in real life. <laughs> the Colorado River is the state line. So now I'm in Arizona. And now I'm in Nevada. <laughs> I 
first time seeing the spillway side of it. And this is the side that I feel is like the more iconic side. And wow, it is a long way down there. <laughs> wow. It kind of gives me vertigo, I'm not gonna lie. The walls are just so steep looking down, it's crazy. It's wild. <laughs> Having spent a lot of time throughout the Southwest, including Phoenix, Arizona, as well as Colorado, it is just so cool to see the Hoover Dam in real life because I have lived and I have spent just so much time in areas that, you know, play an important role for the existence of the Hoover Dam from snowpack in Colorado, um, you know, turning into the Colorado River when it melts and from Phoenix, Arizona, <laughs> being a hot desert wasteland that absolutely relies on water from the Colorado River. It's pretty cool to see this place for sure. And that's only just a tiny little piece of the story, but I'm glad I stopped and checked this out. But I think it's time to get out of here because it's getting a little too peopley. <laughs> on your way out, you gotta try and at least check out the restrooms here. I obviously went in the women's one. It looks like it's built straight out of the 50s. <laughs> it's pretty cool and weird. It's just in a tower right here on the dam. <laughs> So they actually have the road closed. You cannot go into Arizona from here. You have to go back to the Nevada side to get on the interstate to continue on to Kingman. But before I leave, I just wanted to say a couple more things about the Hoover Dam. One is even though it is super touristy and I just watched a guy eating a snack and throwing his food crumbs out of his car and it drove me nuts. <laughs> I would absolutely come back. I think that this place just has so much historical importance to the United States that it is totally worth checking out. Um, like I said earlier, there's so many people here from other countries, so obviously the Hoover Dam plays a significant role in just history and just engineering marvels in general all over the world. Um, it's, it is super cool to come check out. But a few things to know. One, there is a security checkpoint. You can find all the other information online. Um, it really just take a simple Google search for you to figure all of that out. Two, you have to pay to park in the parking garage, um, or you can go a little bit further and get free parking if those parking lots are open. Luckily, I got the last spot in one, and then I just had to walk a little further because I didn't want to pay $10 to park. Uh, three, you can do a guided tour through the dam, but I also didn't schedule that into my trip today, so we are not doing that today, which is why I'm definitely going to have to come back at some point. And there is a little exhibit hall as well that you can visit, but you also have to have tickets for that. And I wasn't trying to spend money here. I just wanted to see the dam. So on another trip, I'll be spending more time here and we will check those things out. But for now, it is time to continue on to Kingman and then eventually Phoenix. I think by the time I get there, I'll be ready for some tacos. <laughs> First gas stop uh, just south of the Hoover Dam. I decided to get gas here instead of in Kingman just because I was just under half a tank on the bike and I didn't want to risk it getting there. It's not worth it. <laughs> Got about 100 miles to the next gas station. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go straight to Phoenix and see what that route is like since I've never done it. I was gonna try and go out to Dolan Springs and then go out to the Grand Canyon West but it's just not gonna be in the cards for this trip today. Um, it does cost about $100 when it's all said and done to go out to Grand Canyon West because it's not a part of the national park. So you have to pay a general admission fee just to see anything, which is about 50 bucks. And then you have to pay another like $30 or so um, just to do the skywalk. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out of this trip. Although I think it would be wonderful to see. Also, you have to have reservations ahead of time and I don't have those. So we're not gonna make the same mistake I did yesterday at Red Rock Canyon. But 
we're gonna go ahead and skip that. Also, you can go down and keep following the Colorado River and go down to Lake Havasu and then on to Parker, and that's a gorgeous ride, and I've done that numerous times. But I think it's time to just head to Phoenix and see what this ride's gonna be like. All right, looks like I got about 100 miles to the next gas station. Another 100 miles down. I'm currently in Wikiup, Arizona. Um, the last 100 miles between the Hoover Dam, so I guess it's 150 miles between the Hoover Dam and here, honestly was gorgeous. Everyone acts like it is the worst ride ever and you're just surrounded by mountains. It's so pretty. Honestly, the worst part <laughs> of the ride is the road because the road is just not in the best condition. Even on this 2024 road glide, it is rough. So I can't imagine riding this all by soft tail or something else. Uh, but overall, it's beautiful. I'm starting to see some swarrows, which I am excited about because I have not seen one in a while. So I think we got about 130 miles until we get to Phoenix. And then it's taco time. can tell I have changed clothes and that is because I got to Phoenix and the spot that I wanted to go to is right around the corner from my friend's house that I'm staying at so I went ahead and just headed there kicked off all the riding gear and we headed over here to the taco spot there are a couple different locations around Phoenix um, and they have really great birria quesadillas and tacos they also have birria ramen if you're into that I've been to the original location back when it was the only location I remember the line just being out the door like 30 people deep out the door waiting to get in so it's really cool to come back and go to a completely different location and the food was still really good and it hit the spot <laughs> after that long ride today and by the way as i mentioned earlier at the other gas station like what a good ride like no the roads are absolutely horrid in quality like definitely a two out of ten honestly like even on that road glide like i said I could feel how rough it was. I'm glad I was on the road glide today because it made it a lot better, <laughs> but the road quality definitely wasn't the best. Um, but as far as scenery goes and everything, it was gorgeous. I would definitely ride that way back to Las Vegas again. It really was not bad at all. But on that note, I am stuffed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little daily vlog. Tomorrow, me and the road glide are going to go looking for cacti, I think. and. Honestly, I don't know what my ride route's going to be yet, but we'll get into something. And of course, I'll take y'all along with me. But until then, I'll see y'all on the road. <laughs> Later, y'all.